Welcome guys to the Crochet Beats channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to crochet really easy and beginner friendly triangular shawl. It can be worn as a classic drape or a front knot or head wrap uh, as well as belted shawl. You will learn how to make a straight edge. Look here. Really cool. And from the other side as well, look at the age. Really neat one. Now let's measure shawl here in the center. The more increases, the wider shawl. So it is uh, 46, 47 centimeters. And the full length, without stretching, of course. I don't know if I can do it. So it is 140 centimeters, the full length. For this shovel, I was using Sorry. I was using yarn from Bernard Softy Baby and it is light weight yarn and you see it can drape really well. It is not the best quality yarn because it's 100% acrylic yarn if you have woolen yarn or mixed so please use it and i was using four millimeters crochet hook also you will need one or two stitch markers especially if you are a beginner so if you are ready let's get started first of all start with a slip knot Perfect. And chain four. One, two, three, four. Now make a yarn over and insert the hook into the first chain, into the very first chain, and make a half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through yarn over and now pull through all three loops on your hook that's what we have now chain two turn from the second row and all rows after we will work through the back loops only so now you insert the hook into the third chain from the hook yarn over and make half double crochet now take a stitch marker and place it into the second chain so we did chain two and this one is the second one place it right into the second chain now we made at the beginning chain four and this is the fourth chain and we will work now into this chain make one half double crochet from this side you don't need to insert hook from the top from the back side here one half double crochet so that's what we have now chain two turn 
From this side where we placed yellow stitch marker we will always make increases and from another side we want a nice and neat edge and I will show you how to do it without jogs. So you always insert hook into the fourth chain from hook. One, two, three, four. From the side where you don't make increases and don't forget through the back loop make half double crochet. So into the fourth, not into the third as we used to do it. And now you see chain two from this side. If you can find the second chain without stitch marker, it's perfect. You don't need to place it. Now you work into the second chain here and make an increase, make two half double crochet. One and one more. So we did an increase. Now chain two and here you can place right away stitch marker or place it later. Now from the side where we did increase we insert hook into the third chain not into the fourth as from this side but into the third chain from hook where we are going to make increases. So third and back loop always. Make half double crochet And again, if you want, as I said, place stitch marker into the second chain. Now, one half double crochet back loop into the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into the next stitch. And from this side we had as well chain two. It's easier to find the second chain here. So just pull it a little bit and again we work into the second chain. If you want you can place another color stitch marker. So here we make just one half double crochet. No increases here. And that's what we get chain two and let's repeat you remember from this side we insert hook into the fourth chain from hook so this one make half double crochet then two half double crochet in next two stitches one two and where we see a yellow stitch marker, make an increase into this chain. Two half double crochet, one, and two. Great. Chain, sorry. Chain two, turn into the third chain from hook, make one half double crochet. Now again, place stitch marker. Second chain, now one half double crochet in next four stitches, and do not forget here you need to pull chain two and make one half double crochet into the second chain
yarn over and pull th through all three loops. So that's what we have so far. Chain two, turn again, count four stitches into the fourth one. Sorry, one, two, three, four into the fourth one. You remember. Make half double crochet, now half double crochet in next four stitches. And one more. Sorry, two more half double crochet into the second chain. One and two. Chain two, turn into the third from this side. Make half double crochet and place stitch marker A again and go on making one half double crochet in each stitch and do not forget here chain two. So make into the second chain one half double crochet as well. So in this way you go on making increases from that side where you see a stitch marker until the width of the shovel reaches 46, 47 centimeters. Let's go on and I will see you after. That's how the cowl is looking at this moment. Let's measure it before we start making decreases. So you can make it wider if you want. So about 46. And now we are on the side where we had a yellow stitch marker. And instead of increases, we will make decreases. Now we have one stitch before the chain two. So yarn over, insert the hook through the back loop and draw up a loop. Now chain two. So into the second chain, make again yarn over, insert the hook into the second chain. Yarn over and pull through. You have now five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. So that's what we have. Now you can just place stitch marker here, chain two, turn. And from this moment we change our rules. From this side we also will insert the hook now into the fourth chain, not into the third as we did before, but into the fourth, like on the other side. And go on crocheting one half double crochet in each stitch through the back loop till the end. So you see decreases already. Please go on till the end. On this side you go on repeating the same. Make chain two and into the fourth chain as you did previously till this edge again. Again, I'm on the side with stitch marker. Now you have two stitches before and you don't count those chain two. So when you have two stitches before chain two, we are not going to work into the second chain as we did previously. So we will, you don't need to place stitch markers always there. So yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all five 
loops. And you don't touch those chain too. Remove stitch marker, place it here. And chain two, turn. Now again, you remember, from this side also we start inserting hook into the fourth stitch. One half double crochet. Before we place stitch marker into the second chain, now you can place stitch marker into this stitch, the first stitch and it will be last stitch. So you know that this is your last stitch. If it's, it's easier for you if you don't see it. So here. So this is my first stitch. One more time here. First stitch. Now one more half double crochet. And when you crochet back you need to leave these two stitches and make decreases here. So last two stitches from this side you will look like this, last two stitches, make decreases as you did before. Until you have five loops and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. And again, you don't touch, chain two. In this way, you will form decreases. So one half double crochet till the end here. Again, chain two, turn into the fourth chain and repeat. Making decreases until you reach last two half double crochet as from this side. Go on making decreases. Here I am, guys. That's what I have. I cut the yarn. So I had last here decrease. I like the result. Look at the edge. Now you will only need to wash your cowl, dry it flat, and it is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. If you're looking for the reading instruction, you can find it on my blog. Please check link down. I wish you all a good day and see you soon. Bye!